What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Barmine Tech and today we're going to be working on another project in our home lab. So we're actually going to be working on a speed test tracker. So it's going to be something to make sure that your ISP isn't ripping you off. This is something that I've been running in my house for over a year now and it constantly pulls your ISP to see the speeds and it helps you in making sure that you're actually getting the proper speeds from your internet provider. And if you're not, you could see actually time data of when you aren't. So if you do want to go back to your ISP and be like, hey, you know, you're ripping me off or you want to try to get a credit, you can because you have data showing of what's going on. It's going to be a super simple project. It's going to be installed through the Proxmox helper scripts onto our Proxmox server. And I'll show you how to set it up. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is come over to the Proxmox helper scripts. So you can either go to communityscripts.github.io slash proxmoxve. I will have a link to this in the description, or you could just Google Proxmox help scripts, and you could either go to the original one, the original site, or you can go to the new site. Both sites have the script, but I am going to be working out of the new site as it is the one that is still under maintenance. So I'm just going to come over to view scripts. We're going to come over to monitoring, and we're going to click on my speed. So over here, we are going to be running my speed as an LXC container. It's going to give us one vcpu one gigabyte of ram and four gigabytes of hard drive storage it'll have a description you can come over here you could view the myspeed website so you can see that this is kind of what it's going to be looking like i'll give you a nice you know graph showing your internet speeds and i'll actually open up mine real quick so this is what my my speed is looking like and you can see i have it pull every hour and it just gives you the output like this so you can kind of scroll back and you can see it has more options. We're going to cover all this, but this is just a quick overview of what it looks like. So I'm just going to come over here and copy the script. We're going to come back over to our Proxmox server. So you can select, you know, if you're working with multiple nodes, whichever one you want to. I'm going to right click and open up a shell. From there, I'm just going to paste in the script. I'm going to hit enter. And that's going to ask me, do I want to make the container? I'm going to click yes. I'm going to use the default settings because I don't really need to change anything. I actually should have because I run a cluster and it's going to give it the wrong ID. So I'm going to have to fix this, but that's okay. I'll fix this afterwards. But the setup's really simple. It's just going to run through and then it's going to tell us what uh, IP and port to go to. So I'm just going to let this work and we'll be right back. Okay. And when your installer is all done, you're going to get a message saying like this. My speed setup should be reachable going to the following URL. So you can either copy it out and click go to, or you can just type it out. So I'm just going to open a new tab. And over here you can see we get the welcome to my speed. It's a little setup. So we're just going to click continue. Over here you can choose your provider of who you want to use to do the actual speed test. So originally I used Cloudflare and my speeds were way off than what they normally are. So I'm going to stick with Ookla, but you can choose whichever one you rather use and you can see which one works the best for you. So I'm going to click continue over here. You can now set your optimal data. So this is going to be, you're going to be setting, you know, what you expect to be getting. So I have a one gig plan. So my optimal speeds that I'm looking to get would be somewhere around 900. I get about 25 up, I believe. So I'm going to do 20 up. So I'm going to hit continue. There's just some terms you can look at to make sure you agree and we're going to click done. So now there's no data shown, which is fine. I'm actually going to come up here to the top right and hit start my first speed test. So you could either have it run on a schedule or you can run it manually and it'll run the test itself. So I'm going to let this run and we're right back. Okay. It took about a minute and you can see over here that the test is ran and I'm getting a 13 ping 941 down and 36 up pretty good. And that's what I'm pretty much expecting for my network. So if I come over to the settings over here, there's some configurables that we could do. So like I said, we could set our optimal speeds and ping and over here is recommendations. So after it starts testing and getting multiple tests done, you could actually set it and you can, you can come over to recommendations and it'll give you some changes that it suggests to make. So this is back on my actual instance of my speed test that's been run. And you could see over here that it's finding some different speeds that it's finding optimal to apply to. So like I'm going to apply that and now it's going to get me a better sentence to use. So we're just going to click OK on that. Well, we are back now on the new instance that we just set up. If we go through the settings, you can change your provider if you need. You can change your interfaces that it's testing on. You can accept the EULA again. 
um, over here you can manage your storage if you need to you know if you need to move anything you can export your tests so you can convert them to a csv or a json so again let's say you know you're talking to your isp you're saying my speed is dropping off at two in the morning or you know whatever it is in the middle of the day you can export them into an actual file and you can send them over to them you can export your settings or you could do a complete reset of the box and start over if you want so this is cool if you do migrate from one machine to another at least you can you know back it up and then restore from that backup if we keep going through settings you can change your password or you could set the frequency that the tests run so this is going to be something you probably want to do the default is every hour but you can test more or less if you prefer you can test every 30 minutes or you can test every six hours you can decide what you want to do i do test every hour so just to have that baseline the next thing you can do is you could pause the test so if you want to you know you're going away for the weekend you don't really care you can pause it over here and not worry about it and then there is some integration so you can actually integrate this with discord and it will send you a message to show you your speeds so i'll show you that right now so over here is actually all the tests that it has done for me so it does test every hour and you can see it sends over my speeds and i can see look at 6 a.m my speeds drop down a little bit but i get discord messages constantly throughout the day every hour telling me my my network speeds are so this is one way that you can integrate discord into this so you get notified of what your speeds are at your house pretty much all the time no matter what to set up the discord notifications you just got to click on discord and then you just say create alert you can leave pretty much everything de default you can change the names if you want and then you just need to add the url from the webhook you create in discord you can change the display name if you want but i'm just going to leave it like that for now and then i would leave the finished message as default just so it sends it in the right formatting and then the error as well so you can select it to send an error message if you want and then make sure that you click send finished messages or it won't send any of these alerts after that you should be all good you can come up here and click save and mine's just ready because i don't have a, a webhook right now but after you do that it's going to send a test message and then it'll start sending out every time it tests it also does have other options as well so you could do a generic webhook you can send a telegram push over there are health checks so you can send it over there if you want there's Godify, and like we just said discord other than that we can keep going through if you need to change your language you can you can see a period of time for the test so if you want to look at you know something longer than 24 hours you can i just changed my view to the last 30 days and now we can see the average for the last month of data that's been running through here so we can see what i've been averaging each day and like i said it's just a good way to kind of see what's going on over here is when i was using a different server this is why we're using cloudflare so my speeds weren't as good other than that we could just really switch the view so you could either have a more graphical side like this you could have a little more data or you could just keep it the default it's whatever one you prefer I think I might keep it with this one. I like all the extra data that it's added. Other than that, we can actually go over to homepage and you can see that this does actually integrate with homepage and you can see the speed results on the homepage right here. So if you are running homepage, you can integrate this as well. I'll have a card up in the corner of the homepage tutorial and I'll have a link below if you're interested in checking it out. I do go over how to integrate the webhooks in that tutorial if you're interested. So it's just another option of how you can display your data if you don't want to constantly keep going into the web GUI for it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how we use MySpeed, and that's how we can make sure that our ISP isn't ripping us off. So like I said, I've been running this for about a year just because I upped my internet plan probably about a year or so ago to a one gig plan and my internet provider really isn't the best. I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the one gig plan that we were paying for in my house and this is just a way that I can ensure we are. I actually saw a project probably two years ago on Reddit that they have something similar like this. It tracks the speed and every time it dips below a certain threshold of you know what the plan is for, it tweets out their ISP and it's like, hey, what's going on? Can we fix this? or just to constantly annoy them and that's where i actually originally got this idea of something that i wanted to do but i never got to that point but i do have this running so i can check and if there's ever the situation where you know i have a day my internet drops off i go to my isp and be like hey what's going on with this you know we have to fix this but that's enough about the ramble about the isp providers this is how we set up my speed like i said it's a script that we use right off the community scripts for proxmox helper scripts super simple you can see it's a quick install get going 
and get it all configured for what we need. As always, I'll have links to all the gear in my home lab below. I'll have a link to the Discord server, and I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.